Hello friends. Welcome to our YouTube learning channel. Accurate. ASME. ISO. This video is in continuation of series of topics, repeatability, reproducibility and correlation of CMM inspection. Also how to interpret the drawing requirements for inspection on CMM programming. Please do not forget to subscribe and share this video to help others. Let's begin now. Why same component measures different results on two different CMMs? This presentation is the continuation of a case study for the objective. Why same component measures different results on two different CMMs? In this presentation let us see how to improve repeatability, reproducibility and correlation of results. Applying geometric controls on datum and features. Improving correct CMM programming methods. From the last video of part 1. Repeatability, reproducibility and correlation of measurements depends on. Form errors of the features. Length of the datum features. Projection errors if features are distance apart. According to ASME Y14.5 2018, GDNT standard, need of specifying the form tolerances is given. Form tolerances critical to function or interchangeability are specified where the tolerances of size do not provide sufficient control. In the given example of a drawing a part height is specified as 40 mm as nominal size. The tolerance of size is given plus and minus 0.1 mm. The other way around the minimum size allowed is 39.9 mm and maximum size allowed is 40.1 mm. This means total variation of the surface allowed is 0.2 mm. This is form error of surface called flatness. It is concluded that form error is limit to the extent of the size variation limit. This is known as rule number one in the standard. This form variation is affected to functionality as well as interchangeability. This large variation leads to the rocking of the part sometimes because of the large size variations allowing large form tolerance. Calculation Algorithm of Form Tolerances Repetability and reproducibility not only influences by the total form errors but equally important that how this form tolerance is evaluated with mathematical strategies. Most common methods are least square method or Kubitschev method. According to ISO 1101-2017, and Nexor, B.2, Straightness. The straightness of a single tolerance feature is deemed to be correct, when the feature is confined, between two straight lines, and the distance between both is, equal to or less than the value of the specified tolerance. For the measured points on the given example there could be more possibilities to fit the geometry and calculate the form tolerance. All three cases are possible but which one should be correct and accepted. The orientation of the straight lines shall be chosen so that the maximum distance between them is the least possible value. Therefore form error H1 is most appropriate value in the given example. In the given drawing geometric tolerance, 
true position, is applied to two holes of diameters 6 mm, separated by basic dimension 20 mm. The primary datum A is outside cylinder and secondary datum B is a surface. Normal method of inspection on CMM is Measure cylinder A and do primary alignment. Measure surface or line B and apply secondary alignment. Translate origin to center of axis of cylinder A. Measure and check true position of two diameters. Because of the very small land of the datum feature B and the form allowed maximum 0.2 mm, two cases of the orientations are possible as shown in the examples. In the examples, orientation are shown to their worst case of the manufacturing. Because of small length, the datum, B, became unstable. Because of the 0.2 mm profile tolerance, form error also allowed a big value of 0.2 mm. If profile tolerance suppose decreased to 0.05 mm, form error decreases but location with datum, A, of the surface also decreases which makes manufacturing more critical to achieve. Another good suggestion is, keeping profile tolerance same but additional flatness tolerance 0.05 is applied. Effect of reducing profile tolerance of the surface from 0.2 mm to 0.05 mm Orientation of the surface also get controlled and more stability is achieved. The correct measurement procedure on 3D CMM, according to given drawing requirement is very important. Most of the users may follow this common procedure but not fully correct. Measure diameter 40 mm and set primary axis, Z+. Plus. Measure plane or line for datum feature B and set secondary axis, X+. Plus. Set origin to diameter 40 mm for X and Y axis. Measure diameters 6 mm individually. Call geometric position tolerance for measured diameters of 6 mm. This method might produce a large uncertainty of measurement because of large orientation of small unstable datum B. To reduce the measurement uncertainty the modified procedure of inspection on CMM is called offset alignment or two-point alignment. Following method is adopted. Measure diameter 40 mm. Measure a point on the datum feature B. Apply offset alignment as shown in figure below. In the offset alignment method, a secondary axis X plus is created at an offset of 5 mm. Passing through center of datum feature A and point measured on datum feature B. This method produces stable secondary axis. Hope that you have liked this video with very easy and simple explanations. You can comment how do you see this initiative and suggest more on upcoming videos. Also we are pleased to conduct training programs at your locations in factories. We offer Ocom Germany, an international CMM certification course. Basic of GDNT. Advanced GDNT. Stack up tolerances. Surface finish. MSA and other quality tools. For further details, please contact us. And I'm sure you will encourage the initiative of training through YouTube.
by subscribing a channel. Accurate, ASME, ISO. Thank you and have a good day. Good afternoon. दोन दिवसापासून आपण जी डी एन टीचं ट्रेनिंग अटेंड करतो आपल्याला आमच्या कंपनी थ्रू दहा ते बारा मेंबर्स याला कंटिन्यू पार्टिसिपेट आहेत ओवरऑल आम्हाला जी डी एन टीचं नॉलेज बघितलं तर पहिल्या इव्हेल्युएशनमध्ये आपण घेतलं की बरेच मेंबर दोन तीन चार चार कुणी नव्हते माहिती मग आणि जसं ट्रेनिंग पुढं जात गेलं तसं त्याचा प्रत्यय येत गेला की खरोखरच आपण किती जी डी एन टीचं आपल्याला नॉलेज आहे ॲज आम आपली कंपनी म्हणून सुद्धा आम्हाला जी डी एन टीचं नॉलेज खूप कमी होतं सरांनी जसं स्टार्ट केलं आणि जी डी एन टीचा कसा उगम झाला त्याच्यानंतर जी डी एन टी कसं डेव्हलप होत गेलं आणि आपल्याला ते ॲप्लिकेबल कसं आहे एकदम सिम्पल लँग्वेजमध्ये सांगितलं आणि आम्हाला ते इतक्या इझिली समजलं आणि त्यात एवढे पार्टिसिपेशन होत गेले आणि जे काही आपलं कोऑर्डिनेशन झालं की असं वाटलंच नाही की आपण ट्रेनिंग कर करत करत आहे असं की आपण एक स्वतःच्या मनातून शिकत आहोत अशी भावना निर्माण झाली आणि यातून सर्वां सर्वांनी हे शिकल्यामुळं सगळ्यांना हे आता एवढं मनामध्ये भिमलं की मला तर वाटतं की जी डी एन टी हे लवकर लोक कोणाकडून विसरणार नाही आणि मला वाटतं की परत कोणाला सांगायला लागणार नाही की आपण जी डी एन टी हे तुम्ही एक पुस्तक वाचा किंवा हे असं करा हे व्हिडिओ आहेत किंवा जे प्रेझेंटेशन असेल याचा खूप उपयोग होईल आम्हाला भविष्यामध्ये पुढं आणि जेणेकरून जे आम्हाला उपयोग होईल त्याचा डायरेक्टली आमच्या कंपनीला याचा फायदा होईलच आणि आमची कंपनीही याच्यातून बरेचसे काही जे आमचे प्रॉब्लेम असतील जेणेकरून आमचे प्रॉब्लेम स्टक झाले असतील ते प्रॉब्लेम आम्ही सॉल्व्ह करू वापरून जे तुम्ही टेकनिक सांगितलं आम्हाला ते वापरून आम्ही ते नक्की सॉल्व्ह करण्याचा प्रयत्न करू असा प्रॉमिस माझ्या आम्ही करतो आणि जे तुम्ही एवढं व्हॅल्युएबल ट्रेनिंग दिलं मी आतापर्यंत खूप ट्रेनिंग अटेंड केले आणि असं म्हणेल की आतापर्यंत मी अटेंड केलेलं ट्रेनिंगमधलं हे बेस्ट ऑफ बेस्ट ट्रेनिंग होतं थँक्यू फॉर गिव्हिंग मी सच अ बेस्ट ट्रेनिंग थँक्यू